Well, man, I'd like to start the show when we've got a, a full show tonight, but I, I think you're really going to enjoy it. Uh, first person I'd like to introduce is Gary Shergo, uh, MMR, who is building a Walters plastic kit. And when he's finished with it, it won't look like a plastic kit, I promise you. Gary, welcome, and thank you for being here. Thank you very much, Jim. Hey, what we're going to talk about tonight is part four. Roof material using sewing stabilizer and the assembly of our uh, building. So what I've done, uh, uh, sewing stabilizer, this is something that uh, when they're doing sewing, they put as a backing. And I came across this, my uh, wife and daughter are sewers, and they were throwing this stuff out. So I took it. It's a, a whitish uh, fiber type material. Uh, a little bit of transparency to it. And I started to uh, take a look at it and thought, hey, this is going to make great uh, uh, tar paper roofing. So what I did was I cut up a bunch of strips. And as you can see here, and I used a little bit of tacky glue and putting the tacky glue on the two roof uh, uh, sections and on the front porch roof section and the back port section started to put these on in layers with a little bit of uh, overlapping using the tacky glue it works fantastic as you can see the four sections are uh, all done they've been uh, when, when you're putting this on overlap a little bit and then take a nice pair of uh, scissors and make a nice uh, sharp edge near the end of the plastic so uh, this is the building, and this is where how far we've come. The uh, back porch roof is now on, and you can see the uh, stabilizer that I put on the, the back porch roof. We've done a little, uh, as I say, the assembly of the uh, building itself. And this is the uh, front porch roof is now on with that uh, stabilizer. And then we've gone to uh, showing the sides again with the uh, that dark wash that we had put on the building. And what, what I've done is as I've gone through this building and put the roofs on and that, I, I'm going to start to add, uh, this is the top roof's been put on. Prior to uh, putting the uh, top roof on, I added the window shades in that and the uh, glazing in the windows. Also, I used the tacky glue for putting the glazing on and the uh, window curtains and the shades. So we now have the roof on. You can see the shades in the uh, windows. And here, taking a look at the roof, a little cap put on the top of the uh, stabilizer window shades show up very nicely. Now I took some uh, of the uh, pastels, dry pastels, and uh, what I did with those was took out different colors and I'm starting to use those on the porch roofs and the uh, house roof just to do a little bit of uh, uh, shading and uh, roughing it up a little bit. You see here, we've done a little bit of, of this shading, just gives it a nice few tones here and there with some browns, some blacks, uh, a little bit of whites. And same thing in here. I've come along in that uh, black wash I had talked about. I, it's on the building and added to the front porch and that just to dirty things up a little bit. Now, if you notice here, uh, pictures tell a wonderful story. If you look at this building, you can see this line right down here. What it is, this building separated and I didn't notice it until I got the building together and took this photograph. 
So what I did is I uh, went ahead, opened that up, and then reclosed it. So I've taken those pastels and um, worked pastels in certain areas. I work uh, along the uh, edges, a little bit of browns. And on the windows, a little bit of streaking. See here, same with all the windows. The uh, steps, a little bit of, these were actually uh, cut and made to look like they're well worn. And here you can see the some of the streaks with the pastels. Uh, buildings get a little bit of dirt near the bottom. Of the either it's the rain's either splashing up, and things are always washing down the sides. You can see some uh, of the weathering throughout, streaking. Same with along here. And this is another side. That's the browns, a little bit of streaking. And you can see the browns and other tones I put in on this uh, roof area. Same with along the uh, one side, a little bit of pastels up in here. And again, uh, the front, the other side, same with the steps there. They were uh, cut to make them look like they'd been well used. See the uh, raised boards, just to give it a little authenticity to the building. And then you can also see the wood grain. This, uh, when you see this, this does look like it's actually wood. In the other, other view. Long here, you can see the weathering. Shades in the windows. Shades up here in this window. And then part five will be next week. Any questions? Doing a beautiful job, Gary. I think it's gonna be a great model when you get it finished. Thank you. Are you happy with it? I'm happy with it, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's all it matters. Thank you so much. You're very welcome.